Hello my friends. The motorcycle riding season 2015 in Sweden is slowly coming to an end. It's 8th of November today and this spring I actually got my new bike, the CCM 450 Adventure, which I showed you in a, big, in a video in YouTube in the beginning of the year uh, for my first ride which was in the beginning of March. Now, about 9 months later, I have done almost 10,000 kilometers on that bike. Um, for example, a over 4,000 kilometer trip in Norway on all kinds of roads, asphalt roads, uh, gravel roads, small trails, and the bike was really perfect for that. I personally think I do not need more than those 41 horsepower that the engine has in the default configuration, um, because I'm traveling, I'm not racing. However, if you add the dongle, which is delivered with the bike, you will get out 51 horsepower, as you know, uh, but then you are losing the warranty on the engine. So I'm going to stay with the 41. I think that is sufficient for my riding style. Uh, the bike worked very nicely on these kinds of roads. I'm doing a lot of gravel here in Sweden also. The suspension is really great. I, I like it. Um, and there have not been any major issues with the bike. Yes, it's a one-cylinder engine, of course, so it is vibrating as any one-cylinder engine, but I'd say it's not worse than the one I had in my 690 Enduro before. Um, however, it's been shaking loose some screws, which I lost, so you better check the screws from time to time, and maybe um, also add a little bit of Loctite to be sure that you don't drop them somewhere and never find them again. Um, in the beginning, there was a minor issue with the gas tanks, you know, the bike has three tanks, one on the seat, two on the sides, which are interconnected and you fill it from the back, but of course then the air needs to come out of the front tanks and these tubings were simply under dimension, too thin, so the air couldn't get out quickly enough. Um, this has been solved by CCM very simple, by using thicker tubes, leaving away some valves and adding another sort of filter. So now I can quite quickly fill up the bike with those 20 liters of fuel. By the way, fuel, um, my fuel consumption is around 4.5 to 5 liters on 100 kilometers, which will give me a range of approximately 400 kilometers, which is absolutely sufficient for my riding here in Nordic and uh, in Europe. Um, I don't go to Mongolia for uh, so far. Um, so what modifications have been done? Let me show you some. For me very important uh, is the GPS and what I've done is building a dampened GPS holder based on the original Garmin thing which I've added here to the dashboard. It needs to be somehow vibration dampened because if you mount it directly on the, on the dashboard it will vibrate so much by the engine that you cannot really read the display, don't see the details and of course I, I think the GPS will not like that in the long run. So you need to have a dampened GPS holder and of course it's connected uh, to the electric system of the bike so that I have permanent uh, power for the GPS. There are two major big modifications or additions on the bike. The one, as you see, is the crash bar for the front tank. Um, this has been made by NCCR, the Swedish CCM dealer. Um, and it's using existing mounting points on the frame, um, so it's not requiring any drilling or welding on the frame. Um, it's made of quite thin tubing, steel tubing, so that the weight uh, is uh, staying low, but it's protecting all the edges and mostly important the corners and the widest part of the tank in case I crash, because if you puncture the tank here, you will lose most of your fuel. At the back side you see a very nice luggage system which also MCCR has built based on the TuroTech uh, frame. Um, also this one is using existing mounting points on the help frame which originally comes with the bike from CCM. But we have also added a nice bar going down to the foot packs so that a part of the load actually is going directly into the foot packs and not into the plastic part, uh, the plastic tank in the back of the, part of the bike. 
Um, with this frame I could use also hard luggage, but I'm normally using soft bags, um, like the Enduriston bags for example, which I really like because they are light, they are waterproof, and if I crash and get my foot under it, there's no danger that I'm hurting myself, uh, in contrast to hard aluminium boxes. You also see the tires have been changed right away in spring. These are Pirelli MT21 Rally Rate, um, because the original tires are much too road biased for my taste. Um, during summer I was using Hagenau K60 in the back, and Continental TKC80 in the front, which is a very good combination for 50-50 road and gravel. But now, in fall again, when it's very wet, it's been raining all the morning, um, I um, want to have some knobbier tires, and these MT21s are road legal, so that's, a, we are how, as I think, a very good tire for that bike. There's one, there's one thing I need to point out which is very critical for this bike and that is the correct chain tension. Since the axle of the swing arm, the turning point, pivoting point of the swing arm is identical with the final drive, it's concentrical, you, can, you need to have or you can have quite a well tightened chain. The instruction manual says about 7 to 10 millimeters and so you see this here is already much too loose. Um, this will have the effect that the bike doesn't go really nicely in uh, low gears at low speed, but if you tighten it, it will be much better, much more even. Um, unfortunately, the back hub does not have a cash drive, um, so I figured out during traveling that I need to adjust the chain tension at least every third day, which I find not very useful. Um, so I'm looking now for a cash, cash drive um, back hub for the back wheel. Um, so that the, the chain wear hopefully gets less and I will not need to adjust the chain tension that, that often. So to summarize my experiences after one season and 10,000 kilometers with the CCM 450 Adventure, I would say it's a great bike, tra great traveling bike. I really like that it's so light. Um, it has sufficient power for traveling. There have been some minor issues in the beginning, some child diseases like the tank ventilation problem um, and what CCM really should solve in my opinion is the cash drive which should come standard with that bike um, because it's a long distance bike and you do not want to adjust the chain every third day. Otherwise, great for traveling, um, highly recommended and I would say if you have a chance to book a test ride either in Bolton or somewhere else, do it and I'm sure you will agree that uh, 8,000 British pounds is not too much for this bike. By the way, the reason why I'm recording this in my garage is I was out for a nice ride today. It was a nice sunny afternoon, but the wind was blowing so hard that I finally, when I watched the videos at home, had a very bad sound quality. So unfortunately, I re-recorded all this now here in my garage. Um, hopefully you liked the video and see you again latest next spring. Maybe there will be some winter riding with studded tires also.